Hello, and welcome to the third video in a series on upgrading system platform components from version 2012 and 2012R2 to version 2014. In this video, we'll focus on upgrading a running InTouch HMI node. In the previous videos, 1 and 2, we upgraded a GR node and two redundant object servers in pairs. In this video, we'll just simply focus on upgrading the InTouch HMI and applying the new 2014 license. Let's begin. Now, as in the previous videos, we'll be using VMware's ESXi virtualization or host server and to uh, to host our guest virtual machines in this case we have a full system platform environment and here I have a HMI node that's also uh, doubling as a terminal server we've loaded up our uh, DVD in the in the drive and when you load up the DVD in the drive you'll get the autoplay dialog box now, because this InTouch HMI node is part of a system platform galaxy and we're using managed InTouch applications, we've already backed up our InTouch application because it's an object uh, when we uh, uh, initially upgraded the GR node. We did a backup, and so we have a backup of our InTouch application as an object. So, we begin by running the setup.exe. And again, if you do not if you do not get this dialog box, just simply navigate through Windows Explorer to your DVD drive and run the setup uh, application. Now, initially, we get this prerequisite dialog box so that we need to. Uh, it lets us know that we need to install some prereqs. So we just click on the Install Prerequisite button, and that begins the process. Now, depending on how fast your system is. It may take a little while or it may take a long while. Now once the prerequisites have been installed successfully, then we click on Next. We get the informational message saying that these particular products will be upgraded to the uh, latest version. And click on OK. We get an informational message that's, uh, that encourages us to back up uh, the Galaxy using uh, the Galaxy Database Manager, which we've done. And now we get a dialog box that uh, tells us all of the items uh, that's going to be upgraded or added to our current system. And we click on Next. As I stated before, uh, depending on how fast your system uh, is, um, it, will, it may take a little time or it may take a little longer time. So there are no additional prereqs that we need to install. We click on Next. We get another verification view of what we're going to be uh, updating or upgrading, and we click on Upgrade. and that begins our uh, full upgrade process. Once the installation has completed successfully, we'll get the uh, dialog box and we simply select finish. It'll do some cleanup work. and we reboot the node. Once the system has successfully rebooted, now we just need to do is install the license. 
We do that by going to Start, All Programs, Invensys, and locate the Invensys License Manager. And we simply click on the Invensys License Manager and we get this dialog box. And we're going to import or install licenses. and we'll click on this little button here that will open up our location of the browser so we can browse to our license we locate our license and we can add it and we click on next we see our license and we click on exit and now to test this we can just simply go to all programs Wonderware, locate InTouch Application Manager, and we can see that Application Manager opens up, and we see our license. Okay, we can exit out of that. And now at this point, you can also verify that your application is running uh, and convert any standalone applications that you may have. So this concludes upgrading an InTouch HMI node from versions 2012 and 2012R2 to version 2014. Thanks for watching.